What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, where I last left off, I had just finished fighting the Sawtooth from beyond the barrier right there. I forget what it's called, but it's called something like that. So yeah, also, what we did is we leveled up, so let's go ahead and let's see what kind of skills I can now get. Okay. So I have two more skill points, so what will I spend it on? I have concentration. What's that? Uh, what's the uh, thing after that? Move faster while wielding a heavy weapon. I do not need that yet. Uh, critical hit. Uh, not yet. And precision. Like spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor components. I don't know. Lure call. Lure someone over to you. Healer. Or gatherer. Hmm. Then I have these things, which I have silent drop and then low profile. No. Hunter reflexes. Actually, that looks pretty, pretty freaking sick. I'm gonna get that. Can I get it? Yes, I can. Okay, sweet. I got that one, and you know what? I'll get precision as well. All right. Sweet. So, we're just gonna keep going on our adventure. So, so I think the next stop is over at the village. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, Mother's Heart. So, I have to go talk to Rost over at Mother's Heart. So, let's go ahead and let's head over there. Uh, oh, is that a rabbit? It's wabbit. Wabbit season. Wabbit season. <laughs> okay. I got the wabbit. Let's go ahead. Let's just take all that meat. Alright. I'm guessing I can cook that out of fire and it can be like some healing item or something. I don't know. Okay. So, is Rost here? Rost is not here, Race. He's way up there. Sweet. All right, we're almost there. All right, Rost. What you got for me? He is not here. Is oh, he's right here. All right. Hello, Rost. Yes, I know we must speak. Let's talk. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, Rost. I think I am ready. Yes, I guess. It's. Louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Yeah, like, what are they gonna... What are they gonna treat me like? I don't know, yeah. They'll let me in? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Okay, so, yeah, any last advice, Rost? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the wilds have to teach. Aww. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. Sure Can I give him a hug? I want to give him a hug. It's with bow and spear that you'll win what you wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Okay, well, let's go. Let's do this. Oh boy. See you back home in a few days. No. You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Where will I find you, man? Take this. Too. Where are you going? Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No! Then good riddance, I understand. But I will find you. Then good riddance? Who would say that? What heartless person would say that? Okay, I'm gonna go with 
But I will find you. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. Uh. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. Welp. I have to let him go. For now. Welp. For Dang. Well, he didn't die. He just walked away, man. Mm, that's sad. And that's right. I totally forgot that they can't talk to outcasts. And if I were to be in the tribe, I couldn't, couldn't talk to Ross. I totally forgot about that. Whatever. All right. Well, let's not think about that right now. Let's think about winning this uh thing that they call the proving it's probably some like parkour kill beast master challenge thing i don't know you will turn back outcast why or bleed your choice really make way make way braves stand aside she is welcome here mother's heart is open to you child um, All right. Um, well, they are letting me in. I thought they weren't gonna. Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. Oh boy. What is going on? Who is this person? Is it that little boy? The little boy that threw the rock at my face? Huh? I'm gonna punch him in his face if that is it. If it's him, then uh, I'm totally gonna punch him right in his face and give him a scar where I now have one. Oh no! Nope. You isn't it? Over here. No! Oh, this is the dude that I helped out. Uh, I think when he had a broken leg. I don't. He hasn't aged a day. Okay, talk to Teb. Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Yeah. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. It was the Tab kid parkouring on the rocks. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. Maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. My goodness. Okay. So my my boy here, he's gonna hook me up with some armor, some sweet armor. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got here. Outfits. Boom. All right, Nora Brave, uncommon. A new Nora Brave's armor stitched by Teb. Okay, can I have, can I have you? I think I already have it, is what it's saying. Okay, so, well, I can get, how many of these can I get? I don't know. Okay, oh, I have to buy that one. I see what it's saying, but it doesn't really give me anything, does it? No armor yet. No armor, nothing. So, whatever, I'm just- I'll buy it. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and let's equip it. Equip it, instead of what I have on now, and go back. And back. There we go. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Tab. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. 
Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes flying, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Gotcha! Okay, well, there's some there's some stuff going on over there. There's some meaty drama. So we're gonna go ahead and poke our head right into the middle of that meaty drama. Let's go! Oh boy. What's gonna be waiting there? What kind of stuff is going to be waiting there for us? You can- I can only imagine. I can only imagine just the fist fights that are about to break out over here, guys. Alright. Yep, this looks not very good at all. In a moment we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to work. For two years, we have been at peace with the card job. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <coughs> An annunciation of gratitude. Killers and slavers! Yeah! Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, hold your fruit, nor, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. now who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest needs to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Yes. Cut your ears off and lend it to him. All right, thank you. <clears throat> All right. An enunciation of gratitude... Okay, so what am I what am I gonna do? Oh, what does he have? What's going on with him? And why were your hands floating in midair? Okay. Who is this guy? Unknown device detected. Possibly a focus or another person's personal device. What? Alright. Can I talk to you, buddy? Talk to him. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Hmm. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Oh, yeah. Good point. I, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? Yeah, is that a problem? I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. All right, Whoa. then. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Since purple started popping up after I put it on, that's when it became fashionable. Nah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. <laughs> As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. Alright, quite a speech, nice armor. It was, it was quite a speech you gave there, bud. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. But Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I have no clue what that is. Okay. 
So, you know what? I, I'm just, I'm gonna go to the blessing. It's been real, dude. But I gotta I go. All right. To See ya. Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed Ooh. by the last sun king. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, so this guy's like telling little white lies. So, he's a trickster. Maybe. He's a tricky trickster. Okay. Welp. <laughs> Alright, go to the blessing ceremony. Alright, where is that at? It's way down there. Let's go down there. Alright. Maybe the proving will be a fun thing to do, hopefully. Okay. Where oh, there's a bridge over a chasm. Should probably take it. Instead of taking the chasm. Or the chasm sounds good too. Alright. So let's see. Is it down over here? Yes it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's attend. Do do do. Alright, let's talk to her. Or him. Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth, I I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. <laughs> if you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that angers these people. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. I feel bad. I actually do feel bad for him. All right. Over here, what do we got? We got a spot or something? Yes, yeah, spot over here for me. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. No. She's nice. I hope she doesn't die. Nice for me. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. Oh, there he is. Honor, light. It's flame. I'm gonna cut your eyebrow, boy. You better watch out. For Rost, for my mother, for myself. For Rost! In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Wow, that's actually pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. Which is a double entendre. I think that's what it's called. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to leave this video here because I've been going for 20 minutes already, so... I know I didn't get too much done this video, but I still hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and if you haven't yet, hit that big ol' red subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video!